Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Are you a content creator looking to share your knowledge and expertise with the world? Well, look no further than Udemy, the world's largest online learning platform. In today's video, we are going to show you step by step how to publish your course on Udemy, from creating your course outline to submitting it for review. By the end of this video, you will be ready to share your expertise with the millions of students worldwide. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. Now guys, the first thing that I highly suggest you to do is open your browser. Of course, right after that, what you need to do uh, is simply go to um, udemy.com. Now, as you can see, this is the website that we must go into it. Now, this is the landing page. So now, if you want to sign up and create an account, all you need to do is click over here in this menu. And this will give you Udemy business or teach on Udemy. So turn what you know into an opportunity, opportunity and reach millions around the world. So click here to learn more. And then click on get started from over here. Now, here put your full name, here your email, and then finally here a password of yours. So make it strong enough, then you can just click here to sign up. There was a problem with creating your account. Check that your email address is spelled correctly. Well, my email address has been already uh, signed, it, signed in in Udemy, that's why they didn't accept it. But I just show you, showed you an example of how you can actually sign in. Now, let me just sign into my account and I will be right back to you guys. And now, after I logged in into my account, they will take you directly to this page. In this page, guys, you will find here, like, it's pretty easy. You can see it in the beginning. Create your own course. So here you can just click, click on this button. And then you will have here two options, from course or practice test. So create rich learning experiences with the help of video lectures, quizzes, coding exercises, etc. Or help students prepare for certification exams by providing practice questions. Let's choose, for example, course. So let's go with this one and then click on continue. Here, how about a working title? So what are you going to show them in this tutorial or this course? So for example, tutorial for Photoshop. And then click on continue again. What category best fits the knowledge you will share? Here, if you're not sure about the right category, you can change it later on. So just choose whatever category you feel like it is the closest to you. Now for me, I'm going to choose, for example, designs. I see it is Photoshop. And then I'm going to click on continue. Here, how much time can you spend creating your course per week? Um, let's say, for example, I will have a lot of flexibility. I will work on the on the side, so two to four hours, five hour plus, or I haven't decided if I have time. Now let's choose, for example, this one. Then let's create course. As you can see here, this is what you have to do in order for you to create your course. So, the following descriptions will be publicly visible on your course landing page and will have a direct impact on your course performance. This description will help learners decide if course is right for them. So this is the most important part of creation of your course. If you didn't attract people from these things, there will be no person coming to your course paying you in order to watch your course and learn it from you. So make sure to do the things that will attract people. For example here, define the roles and responsibilities of a project manager. Here is just an example. Here example, estimate project timelines and budgets, identify and, man and manage project risks and much more. This is just some what will the students are going to learn in your course. For example in my case in Photoshop, all the basics about Photoshop you can add more to your responses. What are the requirements or prerequisites for taking your course? Of course, there are, for example, there are no requirements. You only need Photoshop. So this is like the only 
uh, there are no experience, for example, needed, not requirement, because there is a requirement which is Photoshop. There is, there are no experience needed. You only need Photoshop. So let's add here need, and here we go. You can of course add more responses. Who is the course for? Beginners and also the professionals. And now, after we finish with that, you can go and plan your course. So now, intended learners. So these are the, the most important things. So click on save first. And now, go to course course structure. From here, they will give you like a tips how you have to do it. For example, start with your goals, create an outline, introduce yourself and create momentum in the video, select sections have a clear learning objectives. So make a section with a clear learning objective. For example, for me in Photoshop, I will show them how to drag an image. So in the section, I will, for example, image, Dragon. This is like a, an idea or just like an example. Here, lectures cover one concept, so a good lecture length is two to seven minutes to keep students interested. So don't make it too short, and of course, don't make it too long, because people may get bored watching you doing something for like ten or twelve, twenty minutes. Uh, you have to make it like resumed, quick and easy, so they can actually learn about it. Mix and match your lecture types. So it's just between filming yourself, your screen and slides. So for example, put your Photoshop in the screen, your camera in the bottom left. Sometimes zoom in your face, sometimes zoom in the Photoshop, remove your face, remove Photoshop. Do some kind of animation in video so people don't get bored. And here the requirements and resources. So here's set up this video. So here you have to create a test video just by clicking on here and then say that I need equipment advices if you don't have any equipment if you have your equipment you just click in here and then click on get started select language and then Viva production audio production delivery next I am filming myself or another person uh, I'm filming my computer screen and then click in here, microphone type. So put here microphone type, camera type, etc. And then, for example, let's choose this microphone type. Let's choose um, other uh, from me, which is uh, Ryzen. Let me just check it real quick. Uh, Razer, Razer Kraken V3. So Razer Kraken V3 X. And here, uh, I don't know, uh, we don't have a camera, software type, um, Adobe Premiere, operation system, which is Windows. Here, just click on the last thing, we need to do this actually, so, uh, I don't know. So, then click on next, and then here we go. Here, they will give you some tips to how you can actually film yourself, and then you'll need to film your video, then click in here, select the video, and send it to them. After that, you will go to create your content. So after they accept you from here, so you have to get accepted, then you will start creating your content from films, edit, etc., everything. And then finally put your course over here with the details about it and everything about it with the pricing, of course, and everything with details. And then click in here to submit for review. And after that, they will send you like a message after five days of reviewing your own uh, application after that if they accept you you will start publishing your courses normally without any problems if not you will have to check what is the problem with your application and try to fix it so yeah guys that was simply it i hope you learned something from this video if you had any questions please leave them down below in the comment section and thank you for watching